Hey everybody, what is going on? It's TN here. Um, part of the backdrop, I'm in college. I don't know if you, you guys knew that, but yes, I'm in college. iOS 8 just dropped, and I'm here, as usual, every year, I'm here to show you guys how to get it without the paid developer account. Um, so, we're going to do this without the paid developer account, because usually you need the $99 paid developer account, and you have to get your iPhone's um, unique device ID uh, registered on that paid developer account but I'm here to show you how to do it for free so you don't need it now first thing you need to do is you need to download the beta firmware the new software for your device um, I have it right here downloaded I'll have links down below and I'll always be continuously um, updating them if like they're down or like they're not working or something like that so the description will always be the most uh, updated download links at all times so you can see I have this one downloaded right here for my iPhone 5 um, GSM on AT&T um, so you you download it based on which device you have so iPhone 5, iPhone 5S um, etc, iPhone 4, 4S and whether you have GSM or CDMA and GSM uh, is basically if you use a SIM card you have AT&T um, then you're gonna use GSM and if you have Verizon you don't use a SIM card that's CDMA so be sure to download the appropriate um, firmwares again links all down below so once you have that downloaded what you want to do is first usually if you uh, try to restore from your regular iOS 7 or whatever um, it'll say your device is not registered or it's an incompatible build or it'll work but then your your device will become a brick it's not gonna work um, so what you have to do is first install a fresh um, install of iOS 7.1.1 I just did that I was actually jailbroken on 7.0 but I restored to 7.1.1 um, fresh install now the next thing you want to do is uh, hold down shift on Windows or if you're on Mac hold down option and hit check for update and then you're just gonna click on desktop and go to it and just go ahead and hit open and now we're gonna do the restore or actually it's an update now but the trick is not to go directly and not to restore from your um, existing OS, but rather to update. And it's always good to update once you're on a fresh build. So I was on a fresh build of 7.1.1. So be sure to be on a fresh build before you go ahead and hit update to iOS 8. And also, um, it's crucial that you have your stuff backed up on iCloud and on your computer so you maintain all your contacts and all your stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and let this restore, ha I mean, sorry, update happen, and I will be right back as soon as it gets close to finishing. All right, everybody, so the update has completed. Uh, my phone is now restoring. It said um, give us some time to restore before it reconnects to iTunes. Um, I didn't want to bore you guys with just the phones changing, like the screens. It's basically been the Apple logo with the loading bar but um, at certain points it showed like a connect to iTunes logo stuff like that it's all normal just let it happen um, and now you can see even though it said uh, it's done it, there's still a loading bar on my phone but this time it's going a lot more quickly just kidding it's not it's pretty slow but it'll start going a lot more quickly once the device is fully done rebooting guys my device just finished um, rebooting I went ahead and set it up really quickly so I could show you guys that I am on in fact on iOS 8 uh, first of all, iTunes shows um, iOS 8.0. Um, if I scroll to the right, I have the application Health, you can see, which I can open and it will, well, it says no cards enabled, but I am, in fact, on iOS 8, guys. Um, you can see the updated notification, notification center. So that confirms it, guys. I'm on iOS 8. That method worked for me. My device is not registered. I did not pay for the $99 develop, developer account. Um, now, I understand there might be some of you who either like it, um, your device goes into a, like a reboot loop or um, it says it's not compatible or it messes up and you have to, you're forced to basically go back to iOS 7.0 and you really want to try iOS 8. Now, I understand this is going to work for most of you, but for the few of you who it doesn't work for, I do have a solution for you. It is going to cost you, but instead of $99 for the pay developer program, it's only $5. So what you want to do, um, a buddy of mine runs this website. Um, here's the link for it. Um, it's called, of course, it's a UDID registration service. So you just want to go here. I'll have the link for this down below, and it's a, I'll have yeah, I'll have the link for it down below. And basically, they have download.